guys, I uh, want to bring you something that we've been working on quietly, secretly for quite a while. Um, as many as you guys know, I am super, super, super uh, cognizant of trying to make sure that we focus on products made in the USA by USA companies with USA employees. Now, there's lots of great stuff made overseas. But I'm a believer that we make the best stuff here in the States. I'm going to stick to that and I'm going to keep trying to bring you items that are made in the States. So you guys know we've made the leather ratcheting competition belt, the leather EDC belt for many years now. Over the last six to eight months, we've been working on a design of our own nylon webbing riggers belt. We took design cues from many different companies uh, as we started looking at this and trying to decide what works well, what doesn't work well, and what works with our style. So with that, after many months of development, uh, multiple samples, multiple test items, multiple uses, uh, we've come up with something that I think we're fairly proud of. Um, so this is our Made in the USA Riggers belt. It's made up in Vermont by the same guy who makes our leather belt. He has really put some effort into this. He's actually bought a whole bunch of new tooling to make this new sewing machines, new cutters. Um, he's done everything he can to make this a quality product for us. So it features first off two layers of the nylon webbing. This is inch and a half. Each one of these layers is, is a sturdy to about 2000 pounds. So your belt sturdy to about 4,000 pounds. The belts are, two layers are glued together and then they're stitched. Um, and I know you guys can't see this on the video, but uh, they're stitched pretty heavily. Um, the end is then, when he cuts it, he's got the new tool, burns it, burnishes the end so it's really nice and finished. He then uses a smaller belt. And I, I don't know if you guys can actually see this. This is a, a belt um, that we use to control the Cobra Pro buckle. So as we tested these, we decided that out of all the belt buckles that we use, we like the Cobra Belt Pro the best. It is super quick, on off, um, holds up really well. And many folks who've used this love this buckle. And we're with you the same. So you buy this belt and you're like, oh, well, Bob, it only fits one size. So with this, we kind of had in mind the idea of adjustments. So when you undo this belt, this loop here, this one inch, you can move your Cobra buckle any which way you want to gain up to six inches of length and then re-Velcro it. Now, where this comes in handy, say you sit down at a bar, you have a nice burger, you have a couple drinks, you feel like your belt's getting a little tight, you can loosen up. I mean, that's kind of the joke. But the real part is, is say you're in a job where you're bending down crouched all day, you might want to loosen your belt up just a little bit as you're crouched. Say your job puts you in a cruiser all day where you're sitting. You may want to loosen up your belt a little bit. You get out, you're working patrol, you might want to tighten it back down. So we made this with the idea that adjustments are key, it's critical, and again, keeping with the idea of Made in America, we are proud to make everything we make and sell here as a Red Hill Tactical product in the USA. With that in mind, we keep trying to keep things made in the USA over and over again. And I appreciate your guys' time. And again, please check out our new Riggers belt. They are up on the website. They are available. And I think we're priced very competitively from around 125 bucks for our belt to keep it made in America. Have a great day, guys.